First, Mike, any thoughts on the life of Tracy Smothers? Just a the ultimate professional wrestler, and, and maybe and definitely more than that, the ultimate independent professional wrestler. Up until he couldn't go anymore, you would find Tracy Smothers on the indie scene, not only out there working, but also helping a lot of people. And I'm sure somebody out there has got something bad to say about Tracy Smothers. I haven't seen it yet, though, because everybody to a person that I have seen talk about Tracy Smothers, whether back from the, the, the 70s, whether it be from the 80s, 90s or today, everybody out there has got something positive to say about Tracy Smothers out there who, like I said, continued on the indie scene for a long, long time. I only had a chance to meet him one time when Maryland Championship Wrestling first started up. He was still in ECW. He was cutting a promo about how much Baltimore sucked, except for Sabatino's. That was good eating. Other than, you know, he, he was just a, a really nice guy, entertaining character. And the match that you had spoken about earlier on, that's one of the reasons that I say that tag team wrestling can be just as great, if not great, than any other <laughs> type of wrestling that's out there. The match against the Midnight Express against the Southern Boys in Baltimore at the Great American Bash in, in 1990 was awesome. And you can catch a zillion Tracy Smothers matches out there on Smoky Mountain on the network. If you're an All Japan fan, he pops up a lot in, in the 90s, in like the 92-93, teaming with Steve Williams and in there with Masawa and stuff stuff like that and or a bear you know the, the he wrestled a bear and if you ever watch the clip of it you have he, the bear's got no muzzle on gordon soley is talking about how the bear's got 500 pounds of supple muscle and he, tracy smothers is actually out there wrestling a bear it's it's crazy and he has been through a lot in the last couple of years uh being sick and with cancer and all that sort of stuff and uh, just Godspeed to him, a incredible wrestling character, a enduring wrestling character. And if you were a fan of Smoky Mountain and USWA and down in that area, he was uh, definitely, if you grew up in the 90s, definitely a part of your youth. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Landstorm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.